Uh, here's JT. Back in Caboolture, what have you got for us now? That catapult was fantastic. We loved it. Uh, mate, this whole thing is fantastic. It's the Abbey Medieval Festival. It's happening in Caboolture over the weekend. Get this, 27,000 people are going to visit over the weekend. 900 reenactors re are here and there's everything. Check out some of this hardware, the big shields and the helmets. We're, right now, we're in the 12th uh, the 1200s, the 13th century. So, over the fest, the course of the festival is everything from 600 to 1600. Gillian, uh, in the 12th century, uh, or the 13th century, the 1200s, I'll forget that right. This is what people used to drink out of. Yes, drinking horns. Drinking horns. So that was before goblets or post goblets? Uh, we use them as well as goblets, but these are easy to carry around. May I? Mm. I love these. These are great. Thank you, Gillian. Come over here. I want to show you something. <laughs> Look at, check out that. Check out this crossbow. Oh. Like, I mean, that is Ridiculous. Oh, really? Ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Now here you've got some of the helmets and the chain mail, but I want to show you one particular item. Oh dear. It's not a G-string. Yeah. Can you, can you can you guess what that is? Yeah. A tattoo belt, is it? That's terrible. Mm. What, what that is that's that was from around about the 1600s. That is real. That is a chastity belt. These were real. I always thought that was a myth. Well, there. there's been a lot of conjecture as to whether chastity belts are real or not. They've discovered that many of them are, in fact, 18th century, you know, trinkets made in Germany and sold to museums as the real thing. But anyway, don't let that spoil the illusion. <laughs> Can we just roll yeah, the video? If you, if you ask anyone here, they'll tell you they were real. Sure. Uh, I'll show you something. I'll show you something that no woman used to do for many, many years as entertainment. Right after we have a look at the weather forecast. Weekend sunrise weather. Sydney, possible showers and 17 today. Canberra, some morning frost, clearing to a sunny 13. Melbourne, fine and 14. Hobart, fine and 14 as well. Adelaide, 15 with some light morning frost. Perth, scattered showers and 19. And fine for Darwin, sunny and 29. Around Queensland now, showers for Cairns, 25. Showers and 24 for Townsville. Mostly sunny in Mount Isa today, 25. Rockhampton, fine and 23. Bundaberg in for a few showers and 22. Fine for Toowoomba and 16. Rain on the Gold Coast today and 19. And Brisbane, a few showers and 21. This is Justin from the 14th century. <laughs> Justin, morning, mate. Morning. What have you got here? I have a hurl bat. They're very popular from uh, the Swiss and German regions of the 14th century. Okay, so this would be this was a form of gentlemanly entertainment. What we're it about was, to do. It was. It originated as a fairly nasty piece of uh, street fighting weaponry, but the nobles got a hold of it and thought, oh, that's jolly good sport. We might have a bit of fun with it. All right, well, so. we'll stick on the more fun side of things. Uh, now, what are we going to do? Uh, well, it's what you're going to do, sir. Yes. You're going oh, to impress dear. us with your hurl bat skills. Yes. And you're going to hurl the bat as as far as possible towards that target and hopefully it'll stick in. Clear! That's right. Everyone <laughs> clear? <laughs> yes. Where's that goat? No! Oh, oh, no. Close try. <laughs> Should have rehearsed. <laughs> what, one more crack? Try it. Oh. Try it a more unorthodox approach. Okay. Try it that way. Ooh. That way. All right. Khaki handed hurl batter. Oh, oh man. Almost. Yeah. Okay. You caused right. some serious I'll bruising on your enemy though, James. Only yeah, in Queensland. Yeah. Having that arm for quite a there's, while. There's a lot of deadly, <laughs> deadly weapons going on at that family day out. Yeah. It's a bit concerning. And chastity belt. You wouldn't want to lose your key, would you? See you in half. Do they have a Mr. 